Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. Well, last week, a couple weeks ago, I don't know when the video is going to be up, I shared with you how to do the, the dazzling diamond with the Tombow in water. Well, uh, somebody spotted a discard on my desk and they said they wanted to learn how to do the ice skate. Well, I got a different ice skate to show you. So it's going to be in two steps. I'm going to combine the video together, but let's get started. I got a piece of watercolor paper that measure uh, five by three and three quarter and I stamp my snowman with uh, stays on and I'm gonna have all the link for uh, on my blog above in the eye or below so this is the lovely uh, spirit uh, snowman absolutely love it I'm gonna have many other card and I color that quick with uh, markers I use markers and then I use a little bit of my aqua painter and uh, the grain it's uh, mint macaron and you see I just did the mint first and then the blackberry bliss at the top very simple color just to add a little bit I just wanted to share with you here how I done that so you see very very simple so now after that it's done we're gonna take uh, the pencil the watercolor pencil that the Pacific point and this time instead of having like a hockey rink like the other one I think it look that's what I'm used to we're gonna do more like a pond so um, I'm gonna do just do about my outline of my pond here we go so that look a little bit more like a pond and I can always expand it so you can make your mark and then you can take a little bit of the pencil and all and then we're going to blend it put it that way or you can take just the your ink pad also uh, if you take the ink pad i suggest uh, balmy blue for uh, the eyes so now i'm just mixing this here and we're going to add a little bit darker to this so i'm going to grab an ink pad because when you look at the ice rink in the wall or whatever uh, i don't know many people i get here that are from up north and i'm sure that if you didn't do it maybe your grandkids or your kids take the house and make their own in the winter it's absolutely fun growing up up north absolutely it is fun and don't worry about if we get a big line around it because we're going to do the bank of snow like if we shovel the snow on the side to give us this place to escape so let me just see i'm just mixing this here and this is kind of lighter than i anticipated so don't worry let me grab um well, uh, right here the balmy blue and I just gonna oh you know what if you don't want to squeeze your pad you can always take um, a clear block and use that as your palette and see now I don't want any on my uh, snowman there so I just oops here I had a little bit of purple on the that was like very bliss on the side of the skate there and the blade of the skate that was done in smoky slate so you see i'm just adding and you want it marbleized a bit you don't want it that smooth because i don't think a wild uh, ice rink or whatever it's very smooth let me tell you it's kind of bumpy because we don't have nothing to smooth that up right so don't worry about leaving that bumpy because it's going to look even more natural I had a tough time just to do a pond because I'm so used to do uh, looking at hockey rain coming from up north it's all about hockey sure don't know what football is but sure do know what hockey is okay so then we're going to leave it like this here here we go and now we we would let that dry or in the let me uh, pull my heat tool here that should 
do good. You want to do the back also. Okay, now we're going to do the icing. So, and then we will do the snow. But first, we're going to have to let the icing dry. This is the fine tip glue. So you're wondering what you can do with your fine tip glue so that you can put your Tombow in it. That will take care of quite a bit. What you're going to do is just add a big, I mean a big, a good layer of ice on top. So um, I'm thinking this is going to look very cool because it's going to stay shiny. And then after this it's all done, we're going to let that dry. That I cannot speed that up with um, the E tool and that it would just really make a mess. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera and then let that dry and then come back. So maybe you're going to see a little pause here. Don't walk away. Just stay right here and it's going to start right back. That's the magic of, you know, video. You can combine video together and so on. So now let me stop that. So let me share closer how it looks. I think you can see. So I'm going to cover the old thing and I will let that dry when I come back and I'll share with you how to do the snow around. So stay tuned. Be right back, my friend. Okay, here we are. Now we're going to do the snow bank. But one thing that I didn't do that I should have done before I put uh, the glue on it, it was the trees in the back. We still can do it though. So what I'm going to do is use mossy meadow for the tree. And we're going to do like a little bit of trees in the back. But first though, let's do like the sky. And we want, like in the winter, the sky it's kind of, uh, oops, uh, kind of gray, uh, gray a little bit. I'm just going to use um, very little of pool pot party just to use a little bit of shading in the back there. So I don't want really a blue, I want more like this color pool party put it that way and I just gonna add a little bit now we're gonna do the trees and the trees we're gonna use mossy meadow like I said and on the side where it's white there I'm gonna keep that white like where the snow is so that really should have been done uh, before I done the the glue but I didn't think about it so here we go. So now we're going to eat, um, eat, set that. Oops. That was stuck. Very quickly here. And always do both sides. Good enough. One thing, you're going to ask me how long. I, it took a couple, couple of hours. Like after uh, an hour I touch it, you can see there. And even then, it's still kind of, I would let it dry completely overnight. Completely overnight. Now I'm going to put this at the top. Going to put my three there. Perfect. Going to put another three right here. Oops. So I'm putting the post-it note there so it don't touch. Oh, that looked very lovely. Um... If I would mask that, I could put one there, but I still can do just a little bitty there. See? So just say I get some trees in the background uh, there. And put another one right there. That looked pretty good. Let's do a little bit more right here there and there. Just say that it's kind of like the forest in the back. Here we go. That should be good. Uh, you know what? I think I need one lower here. Right here. Here we go. Voila. Perfect. Now, what we're going to use is our embossing, uh, not embossing, but shimmer white, yeah, embossing uh, paste. The shimmer white, and we're gonna take this. Use your spatula, and that already get the glitter in it. And what we're gonna do is, and then take this, 
and make your bank. And that also going to take quite a bit of time to dry and I bet you know why. It's because of the layer that I'm putting. Now you're going to say, okay, mailing purpose here. Uh, you still can mail that. When it's all dry, I would use a, not a piece of cardstock to put on that to put in the mail. Uh, I bet you're going to need what I call the butterfly stamp, and I'm talking for the U.S. here. It's the two-ounce stamp or non-mechanical -me stamp. The, they get some, it's different butterfly or um, also the wedding cake, but it's say on it not going in the machine. So that's 71 cents if you're wondering how much are those stamps and that's what I would uh, put on this. So you see I just come and you can put as little as you want or as much as you want. I like to have a good bank of snow coming from the south. Uh, coming from the south. I'm in the south now but coming from the north. Oh yeah you want a good bank of snow there. So this is it. So this one, like you said, like you said, like I said, I didn't add the glitter on the eyes. I thought that looked perfect just the way it is. One more thing that I want to do though. So now you see I'm going to finish that. You get the jig of this. I'm going to finish the rest. But one more thing. I would take a Sharpie. And I thought I had, I get one right here. And I would do little lines here that he came from his skating. That is it. So now when this is all dry, it's going to be all mounted and then you're going to be able to see it. And also at the end of the video, I'm going to attach this video to in case if you want to put the glitter. So I'm going to attach back this video so you can see. But this is it, how to do the ice. And let me... Oh, you can see good. See, it's so much like ice. So this is it, my friend. Hope you enjoyed this. And again, see the finished card just up on my blog, above in the eye or below in the description. That is it for today. Thank you for watching. Till next time, happy stamping, my friend. Bye-bye.